Uh, Governor Martin O'Malley, whose deep commitment to uh, our state is well known and well appreciated. We're here today to talk about a technology transfer agreement between NASA Goddard and the state of Maryland to see what we can do to take the Genius Club here at Goddard and all of the wonderful science and technology they develop and how we actually translate it into jobs. And that's what we're all about. We in Maryland and the country loves Goddard the Space Agency. It is known throughout the world for being outstanding in its work in our science to make sure we study the planet Earth as if you were a farm planet. Sure, we can know a lot about Mars, we can know a lot about Venus, we can know a lot, but as we search the universe for finding intelligent life, we turn a skeptical eye to planet Earth. But here at Goddard, we're learning more about weather, more about climate change, more about the news that we can use to make sure we're making our communities and our planet safer. And it's here that we peer into the secrets of the universe, the wonderful, the fabulous Hubble Space Telescope. It has rewritten scientific textbooks, inspired a whole generation of young people all around the world. And we are online to get the James Webb Telescope. And then, of course, it's importantly a link to Wallops Space Agency. Though it's in Virginia, we know its base camp is in Maryland. <laughs> we love Spaceport Wallops, and we salute them and Orbital for actually taking an unmanned cargo rocket ship to the space station, breaking the hold that the Russians have on us in terms of being able to take material and support and research uh, opportunities up to the space station and creating a whole new East Coast spaceport that we think will help extend the life of the space station, expand, expand our opportunities to do research, and also create jobs in the Del Marva area. But all of this, of course, is here at Goddard. Nearly 9,000 people work at Goddard, 3,000 civil servants, and 6,000 uh, contractors. But not just any contractor, and just not any federal employee. We are the home to three Nobel Prizes. Right here working at Goddard this minute is Dr. John Mather, who won a Nobel Prize. Over because of its connection with Hubble at the Space Telescope Institute in Maryland, where, remember, Hubble's in the sky. It sends its information to Goddard. Goddard takes it, processes it, and then tosses it to the Space Telescope Institute on the campus of Johns Hopkins University. It was there that Dr. Giacconi, really the first director of the Space Telescope Institute, won a Nobel Prize. It is where Dr. Adam Reese uh, most recently won a Nobel Prize. And it's, everyone was so excited when I became the longest serving woman in the history of the United States Senate, not quite as old as the universe, <laughs> pushing the limits, they needed a supernova after me. Now how cool is that? So we love Goddard and we love what Goddard does. But ultimately what we want to do is to make sure that all the science and technology that's developed in Maryland, whether it's space tech, whether it's biotech and so on, we win the Nobel Prizes, but now we want to win the markets. And that's how we create jobs, jobs, jobs. How we take all of the research that comes out of it, the know-how that comes out of this, and convert this. And this is where we're talking about today. A formal agreement related to a memorandum of understanding between NASA Goddard and the state of Maryland that will support technology transfer from Goddard to Maryland business. Tech transfer already occurs in Goddard, but through its innovation partnership program, but this will make sure it happens. I'm gonna salute Governor O'Malley and his team led by Kevin Kelly to help make this happen. Goddard will improve DBEG, the Department of Economic Development's understanding of NASA to work better to make sure this tech transfer gets out into the community. It means that Maryland contractors 
can stay competitive and develop new companies or build the companies they have by anticipating Goddard's work. Goddard will work with DBED to identify tech transfer opportunities and to support that tech transfer. Since 2000, since the, in the last decade, over 600 spin-offs have been created through NASA technology. 14,000 new jobs have been created in the United States. We want more of that also in Maryland. We have, we are known for the state that produces ideas. Now we want to be the state that also produces the ideas, but produces the products developed by the ideas. And because it will meet the National Institute of Standards over there at Gaithersburg, this will give us markets, give us products that we will be able to sell here and around the world. Chris spoke eloquently of the breakthrough in medical devices. How wonderful that digital mammography is built on NASA God of Research. And over our country right now, there will be women who know, do they have breast cancer without really the disruptive and intrusive uh, biopsies that occur. It'll be safer, it'll be more accurate, it'll be more pinpointing, it'll be more preventive. And then there's the LASIK surgery. The way we've learned to measure years, and we had our time with Hubble, we're better at it with the web, but the fact is that we can test the instruments that make LASIK surgery so effective. Now there, are, and all of this has to be approved by FDA, which means ideas from Goddard into the people in the private sector, develop the products meeting FDA standards. And because they do, it makes us global. Because many countries can't afford an FDA. But if you have a medical device that's approved in the United States, based on United States research and technology, you can sell it around the world. This is what we're looking for. So I look forward to signing this memorandum and participating in any way that I can. Chris, I want to thank you, but really, the people here at Goddard for the great job they do. Governor, for your leadership and really developing jobs today and jobs tomorrow. And for my part, as we look forward to wrapping up uh, this fiscal year, I will do everything I can to make sure that Goddard is fully, that, first of all, that NASA is funded for fiscal 14. I want to pass the Senate budget, $18 billion, we want to make sure the money is in the checkbook for NASA for a balanced program. We want to make sure the money is in the budget to make sure Goddard, Wallops, APL, the Space Telescope Institute, can do what they do. Because we need to break new barriers. We need to find new opportunities in science and technology. And I will do my part because I do not believe that we should go to a continuing resolution funded it last year with sequester in which God will take a 10% cut. So we don't want slam down, shut down, gridlock, deadlock, <laughs> politics. We want to be able to do the job we were elected to do. So these brilliant men and women here can do the job that they do, and our private sector can build on that, creating the jobs today and the jobs tomorrow. God bless you, and happy Thanksgiving.